Welcome to Park Bench Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Hey, this is Randy Goodman with Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am here with the one and only Paul Cervella, who is a nutrition specialist. He also is a specialist when it comes to Parkinson's disease and some other wonderful things. So uh, there's a lot to reach out to him for, and you are quite the guru when it comes to those topics. So Paul, tell us a little bit about what you do and thank you for being on with me. Hi guys, my name is Paul Cervella. I've been in the industry of health for a long time, 35 years. The reason why I enjoy it, I like people, my passion is our people. And uh, I may add, uh, I have Parkinson's. I read, I read a book called uh, Shaken by In Control. It's a funny title, but it's good information for people with Parkinson's. And I searched uh, almost the moon to, to, to learn about this, this disease. Okay, so Paul, I know you um, actually figured out a system for yourself that most of the time can help you stop shaking and you're not shaking now. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, you have to kind of relax, get control of yourself, focus. It's a combination of uh, four or five th things. The other thing is also if you have to eat, eat organic food, so there's no interference with, with chemicals and pesticides. So keep a, a clean mind, think positive. These are the things you have to do. They're, they're ingredients. Okay, so it's a holistic approach, correct? Yes. Okay, and you've actually written some books. Do you want to tell us a little bit about them? The first book I wrote, I was pushed into it. Everybody says to me, why, why don't you write a book because you know so much? So I wrote that as my first book. It's called uh, Shaking Brain Control. It's a 60-page it's a book. You can read it in about a half hour. Very educational. The second book I wrote, that was my, my favorite topic. It's called uh, Are You Eating Organic? If you're not, then what you eating? GMO? <laughs> Anyway, uh, my third book is coming out very soon. And uh, my fourth book, I'm, I'm working on uh, something to do with the, your, your urine and your, your stool. Your urine and your stool? Yes. Okay. Okay. And this is to affect what? Your health or? Parkinson's, or what's it focused on? Focused on uh, all of it. On everything. On everything. Uh, the title is called, uh, should I say it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the title is, uh, There Are Health Answers in, in the Toilet. That's the name of the book. Should be out in the fall. Okay, cool. Cool. And now that we're all at home, you probably have more time to be writing, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're right about that. Because <laughs> you can't go anywhere anyway, <laughs> so you might as well write. I'm stuck with me and me stuck with you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> so, Paul, you've been uh, researching and into organic eating for a lot of years. How many years have you been uh, an expert in that topic? Uh, right after I got married 35 years ago, we had a health challenge, uh, a family member, and I won't say much about it. You, you can buy the book and re read the information there. Okay, but, uh, but I would say 34 years. Wow. And where can they find your books? 
Maybe go into the brief for Amazon. Okay. My broad press and uh, many, many. Do you have Do you have any of the books near you right now, Paul? That you can show us? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. There's one called uh, Okay, go. Yeah, there you go. Are you eating organic? Yes. So. That's why I'm. This is my first book. Hold it up a bit. Yeah. A Natural Guide to Parkinson's Shaken But in Control. Love it. And that's Paul Cirovella, and the spelling of his name will be on this interview page. This one is. Uh, oh, yeah. 365 Empowering Stories. You're an author a couple times in that book. <laughs> yeah, you have a couple chapters in there, and that's awesome. And that's a compilation that you did with me, which is awesome. So thank you, Paul, for doing that. And uh, Okay, so Paul, tell us a little bit about why you became passionate about organic eating and how long have you known, actually answer this one first, how long have you known you've had Parkinson's? 14 years. How many? 14. 14 years, wow, okay. So obviously the organic eating came long before you had any idea that you had Parkinson's. So what got you passionate about that? Can you tell us a little bit about that? You're talking about uh, Parkinson's? Yeah, because uh, I believe uh, everybody says that Parkinson's is a disease. First of all, it's not a disease. It's, a, it's an environmental problem. I went to see a, a naturopath and we, we did a study on my blood, came back high in lead. The second time we did another study, we came back in high in the pesticides. The third time, each each one of these cost $500. Wow. And we send the blood to the World Health Organization. Group. And uh, we, uh, we, we found DDT a third time. So I was convinced that this is not Parkinson's, this is something else. Right. Okay. Um, okay. And I, I actually messed up with my question, but I'm glad that you answered that. Um, it's, yeah, it's amazing because a lot of people will get a disease or contract something and they just listen to what the doctors tell them and, you know, don't really do much research on their own, or maybe they do a little bit of research. You just took a full dive into it to really figure out like, how can you help people in the world with Parkinson's and you've done so much research. I know you've dived so deep into this topic and you really are an expert there. So if anybody out there has Parkinson's or, um, has someone in their life that uh, you know has Parkinson's or maybe newly onset or whatnot or you suspect it but please get in touch with Paul because he really is an expert in that topic and can help you with it but also so the organic eating Paul came long before the Parkinson's what got you passionate and interested in eating organically it was one one a member of the, of the family that very ill and passed away. So I took it on, on my hand, my own hands. So this is what, what got me there. And uh, I, I haven't stopped since. I stumbled on so much information right away, about 10, 10 books that I could write. Wow. Wow. You know, it's, it's uh, amazing how you know, whether we have something in our life or not, and we choose to go on a certain path and it just takes us, we're not even sure where it's going to take us, right? And it's led you to a life of eating healthy and teaching others and writing books and, uh, you know, just doing some incredible things. So thank you for sharing that with the world, Paul. Um, can you tell us a little bit about 
Who is Paul? Tell us a little bit about your family. Can I, can I show you a, a book written in 1905? Yeah, for sure. It's an old book. The title is on this side. This book talks about, uh, you gotta wash your hands. It talks, it talks about, people could, could not wash their hands because back then, in 1905, 1908, they could not wash their hands because they had no water, no running water. They had no water. Okay, so what so, did they do? And the doctor, Dr. Har Dr. Har medical doctor suggested that we keep our nails cut short. And uh, because disease it lives under the, the nail. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like a depot for 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 bugs. Right. Under your nails, keeping them short, it's the depot for bugs. Yeah. Or bacteria, right? Yeah, yeah. So so basically I'm, I'm learning about this book. I read it about three times. And, and uh, it makes sense. It makes sense, yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Tell us a little bit about you, Paul, and your family. Uh, I was born in Sicily. Uh, English, the French. Uh, half of Europe says that Sicily is the jewel of, of uh, Europe when it comes to food. The food is so good that uh, anyone has been there, they, they, they love it. The reason why is because it is ethno the, the, the volcano, uh, very rich in minerals. So the whole island is. So I was born there. I came here when I was 14. I've been in Canada since, uh, since uh, 50 years, 51 years. And my family is, uh, they, they, they've been back. It's just a few, a few times. And uh, I have a sister, I have a brother. Uh, my daughter just had a baby. So we're, we're just a normal family like everyone else. Perfect, Paul, thank you. Are there any tips or suggestions you'd like to tell our audience? Yes, uh, for, for 30 years I played baseball. I played uh, soccer, and uh, and uh, my favorite is track and field. I got many gold medals in track, and uh, that's all. What, what you have to do is uh, you have to make sure your body stays strong, absolutely strong, and this is the, the, the foundation of your health. If you if you don't exercise, then uh, your body gets weak, weaker and weaker. Uh, the, the other thing is for food, it, it is one tip. If you get one seed, any seed, you put it into the soil, water it, take care of it, and it, grow, it gives you life, right? It grows, it grows. Suppose you, you get the same seed put into an oven at 400 degrees, cook it for two minutes, then pull it out, put it back in, in, in the soil. The question is, uh, once it's dead, it, it won't grow. So if you eat three, four meals a day, and uh, if you if you cook everything, there's no life in, life left in the food. So how can you improve your, your body? You can't. You have, you have to have a good mixture of 50-50. 50 raw, 50 cooked. Ah. That's, a, that's my, my best advice I can give you. No, it's a no-brainer. Okay, and I think a lot of people cook their vegetables and cook all their food, so they don't actually get the raw ingredients where it's not cooked out of it, right? So I think that's a really good suggestion is that we stay cognizant of eating some raw vegetables as well and raw food so that uh, we get all the full nutrients. A little, little bit of criticism to the, to, to the chef. They, 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 uh, Cook avocados on the grill. Come on, give me a break. 
Porque tinha casa. Não ia no carro. Só uma licença de não estar good, não look good, não look professional. Up to a point. I, I criticize that. So you don't want people grilling their vegetables? No. It was back to the seed. You put the seed into, the, into, into an oven, you kill it, and then put it back in the soil. It won't grow. The enzymes are destroyed. That, that, that's an easy one to, to, to understand. I, I keep myself simple. Well, I love the analogy of the seed. So you're basically killing the nutrients in your vegetables when you're cooking them. Because uh, if you, what you're saying is if you cook a seed, you're killing it, and then you can't, it won't grow. So it, it's the same thing essentially for the vegetables, right? Yeah. That's the foundation of life. You kill something, don't expect to, to, to buy your Bible to be strong. You got, you're going to get backward. That, that, that's just the secret to reverse your ages. I see people out there at 30, 40, and they're falling apart. I see also people at 80, 90, and they're fine, and they're doing fine. Okay, perfect, Paul. So where can people get hold of you? What's your website? Website is called uh, paul.fieldtrim.com. Okay, perfect. And we're going to have all your links on the page so that people can get a hold of you. So if they want to know anything about uh, eating organically or Parkinson's, that they can reach out to you and get a hold of you. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Is there any last things you want to share with everybody? Keep your nails cut short. Sorry? Keep your nails cut short. Get your nails cut short. Because uh, the, the, the virus that we're dealing with right now is they are under your, your nails. You don't even know. Because you know, you know it's happening. So true. Thank you so much, Paul, for sharing with us today. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.